Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Kiki and I'm back with another video. Today's video I will be talking about eSIM. I'm which is this right here. This is I have AT&T, so this is my eSIM card for AT&T. I'm going to show you guys how I activate it on my new iPhone 12 Pro. You can do it on any phones. I'm going to let you know the phones that you can use it on and how to set it up so that you guys can use if you guys have more than one line, you can use it on one phone versus two phones. So guys, if you like to see how I did it, continue watching. Also, if you haven't already, please be sure to subscribe to my channel. Give this video a thumbs up and leave me a comment too if you would like. Also, follow me on Instagram at lavishlooks underscore by Kiki. We're almost at a thousand subscribers. Thank you guys for all the support and to everyone who has watched my videos, gave me a like or dislike, I don't care, comment it down below and also who have subscribed to my channel, I appreciate you guys so much. Once I get to a thousand subscribers, I will be doing a giveaway, but in order for you to be able to join the giveaway, you have to be subscribed to my channel and you have to also be following my business page on Instagram and you have to like my videos because that's how it's gonna go. Okay. But let's get into this video so I can tell you guys how to activate your eSIM card. Let's go. Okay, so you're going to go to Add Cellular. And then you got to scan the QR code. Wait. No, oh, I scanned it. Add Cellular Plan. I don't want my number to show. So my main number is my primary, and now I'm doing my secondary. Continue. Default line is my primary. Continue. So for iMessage and FaceTime is going to be my primary number. Cellular data is going to be my primary. So I'm going to put primary. Done. And just like that, it's set up. Both comes up, primary, secondary, and you're done. So now, when you want to set up like... Sorry guys, you probably hear my dog breathing in the background. She's over here eating her bone. So you got to hit send and receive, right? For send and receive, I'm going to pick to receive messages on my... On both, but start a conversation on only my primary so therefore if for my business phone you got to text me first in order for me to respond to you if i text them first then they're going to get my personal number and i don't want that so then i'm going to go to you can receive messages on both lines but you're going to start a conversation on one which and you pick which one click out of iMessage and that's that i'm not setting it up for facetime not doing none of that so just like that is done Cellular plan, both is there, primary, secondary, finished. So it's going to appear like that, where you have two, where you have the two data lines. So you have the top and the bottom. That's for your secondary, and that's for your primary. And you can always switch it. If you want your... Second line to be your primary, you can switch it. Just follow the things that I did. You can switch it back and forth. It's up to you. And then when you go to make a phone call, you see it says primary. So that means I'm using my primary line to make a phone call. Now, if I want to, I don't want to use my primary. I want to use my secondary. I'm going to go to here. Use secondary line. And then I'm going to make a phone call to use my business line. So you can do it like that. You switch it. And say... All right, you get a text message. I can't find nobody from my business line yet. Say I get a text message and I'll be like, all right, did they text my business account or my primary account? I'm going to click, go like this. I'm going to click on the name. I'm going to go to info. And it says, using primary for this conversation. So you know if it's your personal line or it's your business line because it's going to let you know. And just like that, guys, it's so easy. All right, guys, so just like that, you can have everything on one phone instead of walking around with two phones. That's so unnecessary. Hook both of your lines up to your to your um, main phone. And if you follow the steps that I did, you can activate it 
and you'll have no problem or you can go to your phone carrier and they can set it up as well but if you decide to take it home get the card at the store they'll put in the um ICC ID number and then you can go home and activate this yourself but once you get this card it's best that you keep it because say that you upgrade your phone like I did and you don't want to change your number when you get that new phone all you got to do is scan this card again and all of your stuff will switch over and you don't have to worry about getting a new phone so guys I hope this helped you out and you understand now what an eSIM is Thanks for watching. Until next time, be safe, be healthy, and be blessed. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel. See you guys later. Peace.